Hello guys, we will see super keyword which is used in inheritance. Now you already know one keyword which is this keyword. So why do we make use of this keyword to access the members or methods of the same class. In the same way, if I want to access the instance variables or methods of super class, then I will make use of super keyword. So super keyword can be used to differentiate between the members of super class and subclass or it can be used to call the super class constructors. Here one example is shown where there is one super class and display method is there, one subclass is there and display method is there. Both are having one variable which is num initialized with some values. Now in some other method which is method of subclass I am creating the object of subclass that is I am creating the object of current class. Now using that object if I say sub dot display it is going to call the display method of the current class. But if suppose if I want to call the display method of the super class in subclass method then I have to say super dot display. Now in main method I will create the object of subclass and I will call this method which is my underscore method. So if you understand this code you will come to know how do we differentiate between the attributes of super class and subclass using the super keyword. We will implement this program practically. This is the demonstration for super keyword in Java. For this demonstration I have implemented classes like I have super class. In super class I have one variable num and I, I have one method display. Subclass is there, subclass is extended from super class. It is also having num variable and display method. That means display method is overridden. Subclass is having one more method which is my underscore method in which I am creating the object of subclass here and using that object I am calling the display method so it will call the current class display method. If I want to call the super class display method I have to make use of super dot display syntax. After that I am printing the values of num variable using sub dot num and super dot num. So this will print current class num variable it will print super class num variable main method is there which is creating the object of subclass and it is calling the my underscore method of the subclass. So from main method it will first go to my underscore method their current class display method will get call. So first output should be this is a display method of subclass after that super class display method is called. So next output is this is the display method of super class after that sub dot num is getting printed which is having value 10 and then super dot num is printed which is having value 20. So output is cross checked and this was about the super keyword in Java.